Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about arrow functions in ES6. In this video, I'm going to teach you the arrow function in ES6. It's one of the most popular feature of ES6 and it's used for different purposes. First, I will show you how to use them as an anonymous functions. And then I will show you how they can be used as a replacement for callbacks as a way of avoiding a return statement. So let's get started. React is much easier to learn if you know ES6. So what are the arrow functions? Arrow functions are also called as fat arrow functions. Arrow functions allow us to write shorter function syntax. As you can see here, before ES6, we write the function in this way. Function name is equal to function parenthesis and in curly bracket, we write the statements. But now in ES6, we can write the function in very shortened way. Function name is equal to parenthesis, fat arrows, and then all statements. So let's do a practical example of this. I will open my project. And here I'm going to comment all these things. And now I, I'm going to write a function before and after changes. Okay, so in this function, in this code, you can see here, I write the function name. This is the old way of writing the functions in ES5 and before. Function name is equal to function parenthesis and then in the color braces, I write the statements. So you can see old way of writing function ES5 or before, hello world. But in ES, six arrow functions you only just need to pass the function name and the parenthesis and arrow, fat arrow and then in curly braces you need to write the statements so let's copy this and paste here and write function name so new way of function writing function es6 arrow functions so it's very cool and it's where uh, now the syntax uh, is too much short uh, to write on code. So now let's make a practical example of this. Let's suppose I created uh, two functions. This is the old way of writing the functions. Uh, addition is equal to function name and parent parameter. And I added both the function and return the statement. So let me just 12. So 12 plus 12 is 12, 24. So this is the old way of writing the function. But in ES6, you only need to pass the braces and uh, parentheses. And in parentheses, you need to pass the value. And let's just check out the results. Let's suppose 30 and 30 plus 30 is 60. This is a new way of writing the code. So you can clearly see the difference. Uh, it's much shortened and much easy, uh, easy to understand and also readability is uh, quite easy here in ES6. But let's assume if you have only one parameter, then even in ES6, you do not need to write, uh, write this parenthesis. Now you can see the result is same. But one more thing, uh, which is a very good thing for developers, sometimes we only need to pass the single return statement so in this case, uh, if we have a single statement, then we do not need to write the complete syntax like this. What we will do, we will remove this return and also, so you can see if we have one line statement, then we will only write the parameter. This is the parameter value. And then we added this, those values and returning this value to back the function. If I write here this, sorry, the name was incorrect, but results are same because it's not a complex situation. So this is how uh, uh, this is how we are writing the ES6 in ES uh, uh, previous codes. So let's do a practical example of uh, the real-time usage of ES6 uh, arrow functions. So I'm going to remove all this thing, and I have created a real-time one array users so i have three users user id 1 user id 2 and 3 and user 1 and 3 are active and 
user 2 is non-active so let's assume i need to fetch the users uh, who are active and non-active so i write these statements here okay so i'm going to first write the old way of writing the statement so i have a collection of these users and i write the filter and the filter I, I write the predicate you can see here predicates so in predicates i need to pass the value the object and from object which fields we need to uh, uh, write on the filters that uh, if the value equals to this then uh, we return those objects so in this uh, statement i write function and in function i'm passing the object user object as a parameter because it will loop to all the object uh, items in the collection uh, first it will go to user one and it, uh, in the u user you can see here clearly in the function i pass the parameter as object and in an object if if it is true it will return this in the collection so it loop to all the items and return all um, all the users who have whose status are active but in es6 if we use the arrow functions then the statement will be like this users dot filter and we do not need to pass the function we will remove this and parenthesis we will remove this parenthesis uh, function and then in the parenthesis i write user u and we as i already told you if we have the one line statement then we do not need to write the return keyword and then i will remove this and also remove this from here uh, on the arrow functions and this is how easy and simple way of writing the code in uh, javascript in modern javascript when we use the error functions of es6 so i hope that it it makes sense to you and it's uh, easy to understand for you so guys uh, there is also one confusion uh, when we write the mm, this keyword in uh, with the functions in class error functions in context of this the holding of this is also different in error functions compared to regular functions in regular function this keyword represent regular means guys regular mean here the old way of writing the functions right in a regular function this keyword represent the object that call the function which could be window document a button or anything with the arrow functions the es6 arrow functions this keyword re always represent the object that defined the arrow functions so let's do a quick example on the on this concept arrow functions and regular functions and how this is behaving uh, this keyword is behaving in this right so i open this project and i'm going to remove all this code and now i'm going to write a code for first i'm going to write the old way of how we actually write the code code and fetch the functions so i create a class car and then i will say function in this class speed let's suppose speed spelling was cons is not correct so i'm not going to write the old code going to say speed and here I will say console doc low this and this right so if I call this car dot speed so you know what will be the output then we have uh, we are writing this uh, code you can see here console dot this this represent this all object so we will have the information about this car object right but when we have any callback function in in our methods let me just quickly write that function let's suppose if we have an uh, we have a JS uh, written a global function set timeout or some other uh, I'm going to use set timeout in this case so I'm going to remove this statement so this is a callback function so as I already told you um, when we have the callback functions 
it do not return the object details so you can see here when i write this callback function now this console dot this is not returning the object details previously it was returning the object details but this time it's not returning the object details it's returning the window details so if we need to handle this we can uh, handle this easily like var self is equal to this so uh, in this way we uh, self of uh, a variable we, we we got all this uh, value of this of, of this class and then here we will write this uh, self and this so So now you can see if we need to handle this in old uh, old functions uh, how if we need to handle this this statement in old functions we need to handle the this in the first in the variables and then we assign those values to this by default it's not actually getting the object values if we use the callback functions but what happened when es6 uh, arrow functions came into working it fixed this issue because if we need to get the value of the, the existing object with the callback functions, ES6 make it really easy. So let's do it that. First, we need to remove this function. And if we write the ES code, and then you can see here simply, if this is the arrow function, now this callback functions is returning the object value. With the arrow function the this keyword always represent the object that define the arrow functions so hence that that uh, this makes sense and this is this proves to be true now but with the callback functions of uh, the old way of writing the functions if we use any callback function uh, inside our uh, we can say methods or class it will always going to return the window keyword window uh, methods so arrow keywords also i can say also resolves the this issue of handling the problem of not showing the object details so i hope that makes sense to you and i will continue making videos on react.js and es6 so keep liking and sharing these videos and comment and uh, write me to email if you have any questions or problems thank you guys have a good day